Hi friends, we're back um, today in front of our sold sign. Our house is finally sold and we're really excited. Um, we've got two weeks left until we get the keys to our place on the farm. And today the moving containers are coming. getting some quotes on some moving companies and knowing some experience we've had before. Last time we moved, when we moved here, we ordered a shipping container, a big steel box if you're here in Calgary, and this worked out phenomenally for us last time, so we're going to do that again. This time we're going to use two because we didn't want to go with, I think we ended up going the U-Haul three times last time on top of the one container, so we ordered two shipping containers so they're going to drop them off it just in a few minutes here and then we're going to load those up and then they move them to the new property and then we unload them so yes we have to do some of the manual labor but we can go at our own pace and this is a great option for people like us who have a big family and it's actually competitively priced it's cheaper than movers and we can pack things as we go and then you don't have all these like stacks and mounds of boxes like you saw in one of my other videos of, of all these boxes everywhere and everybody feels claustrophobic and it it's irritating it really irritates me so I, I can't wait to get some of the well, I've been packing boxes and we have them stacked everywhere um, and we're gonna get those hopefully loaded up today so I can make some more boxes full and then we will bring those out as we fill them and then it's not such a monstrous task and then at the other end when the shipping containers are delivered we unload them at our own pace and it we have like a month between when we get them today and then when we get them when they get picked up again at the other end and that's all included in their one price and I think it's worked for us let's see how it goes this time maybe it's really awful but I think it'll be great um, yeah get ready to, I can't wait they're gonna be here any minute now okay so we have this really really long driveway which made it optimal for using the shipping container so like you need a place to put it in our old house we had um, an alley behind our house and so that's where they dropped it for us then and you can specify wherever you want to have it dropped and here they are just discussing how my husband how far back and exactly where he wanted and they will put it exactly where you want it which is fantastic and the other thing that is amazing is that when my husband ordered you can see him here walking back and forth um when he ordered the, the containers, he actually specifically asked for one to be facing towards the street and the other one facing toward the house. And that way it would make it easier for us to load. We either just have to turn left or turn right to load the boxes or furniture into them. And it actually, that, that was like the best part of it, that they could do that for us. They accommodated us as well as when they dropped them off. They put them in a way where we can, um, unload them the easiest so it was really great and these guys were super nice super efficient and did their job fantastic and we just had to wait for it to be dropped and it's really neat so the only thing that you have to watch is when you are using a shipping container if you ever choose to do this for when you move is that they do tip a little bit so you have to be mindful of which way your furniture will shift and so you can secure them and we used um, bigger pieces of furniture in front of smaller pieces of furniture and we kept in mind which way it was going to tip when it was being picked up and when it was going to be dropped off so that um, we didn't have any breakage or um, too much shifting going on so my husband and uh, my boys did a lot of the lugging into the containers and out as well and they packed um, everything with that in mind and and uh, it worked out really well for us this time I like I said I wasn't sure how it was gonna work out but it it worked out really really well and it so happened that the weekend they were dropped off it was fantastic weather so we decided to actually load up the things like you see here in the front of the picture there's a trough I have here or planter and I had still the peppers in there and we loaded up all the garden things so we had a playhouse and I think a sandbox the swings 
uh, picnic table, the, the benches that we had on the deck, all those things we loaded up first. And then we loaded up our outdoor garden shed where we kept um, all of my husband's tools and sleeping bags in like Rubbermaid totes and stuff like that. So we packed those all up first because we didn't want to run out of room and then that's what happened last time. We waited to pack it. So here I am. I had no idea what I was doing. <laughs> Am I doing this right? Yeah. Oh my. There. there we go. Further? Oh. oh, wow. That's massive. Oh, there are the keys. Better grab those. So, yeah, we're going to fill two of these probably. <laughs> no problem. Not because we're hoarders, but because we're a big family. Right? <laughs> that echoes crazy. All right. Should I try that? Is that one doesn't want to open. I thought I'd be doing more of the carrying of the boxes during the day, but I actually just left them for my husband, so I wanted to be able to open and close it. What's going on? But I ended up not having to do that very many times. So here you can see we're already filling up this container. This is the one closer to the street. We had uh, rented a storage locker to make our house look bigger and we stored a bunch of things in there to make room for the staging and to make it look like not a million people were living in our house at the time. And here we are, this is the first load of things. There's the crib, some chairs and some crates and stuff like that. So we had quite a few things. I think we t went four times with the 15 seater. I think we took out two seats in the middle. I think there were two, I think there was one seat left in so that we could take somebody along with us, my husband and I, and then you see the one there in the blue sweater. He would come with us. He's like our, I don't know, he's just crazy. He does whatever, you tell him to lug something, he'll lug anything. He's just amazing. And here we picked up some bar stools. We didn't have, um, and there's my husband trying it out. We didn't have any bar stools here, but we picked them up that morning um, on the way. We bought them on Kijiji secondhand because we knew we could use some here that we had the overhang on the peninsula here that we didn't have in this house. So that was great. We got a great deal on those and then we already had them ready to go. We didn't even bring them into the house. The kids always sat on them while we were loading up. A little tricky to figure out how to get this thing open and closed and it's stuck. Not so much on this one, the other one always stuck every time I tried to open it at least. My boys figured it out though. And of course the younger brother always has to double check and make sure it's right. <laughs> Two weeks later, after it snowed at our place, the day we moved, and then we had snow on the ground when they dropped them off, and this is here at the new property, them being picked up, all the snow had melted again by then. And we actually only needed them about three weeks, but they, um, I think it was just a little over three weeks that we had them, and uh, had them all empty, ready to go to be picked up, and because we were a little bit further out, they took their time coming to pick them up, but they didn't charge us anything extra. It was still within their, the time period, and it was fantastic. Like I said, we could load and unload at our own pace. We didn't become overwhelmed with too many things in the house, and you're tripping over all of the different things, so this worked really well, and, and it was all hands off. They just came and picked them up at the house that we sold. They dropped them off here. They, they were... Um, they just needed a little bit of um, instruction on where exactly they wanted them to be put, that we wanted them to be put, And but when they came to pick them up, they just picked them up. They didn't knock on the door or nothing. It was easy peasy. And then he, the same guy um, dropped them off um, as picked them up, so he would come get one, and then he left, and then he came back and got the other one and left, and that was it. And it was... The best decision we made in this whole move is to have these boxes 
And I believe they're available in several cities. I don't think it's just particular to the city that we were in. Um, and they ended up being dropped off in a different city. So that's it. It all went over really quickly, really smoothly, and I have no regrets. Thank you for watching everyone. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and like and share this video. See you on the next one. It's going to be the house tour. Bye-bye.